Hello YouTube fans, it's your boy Brad here again with another video. Alright, today we will be testing output power of the uh, GTX Studio TTL 480N outdoors, which is supposed to have high speed sync with my Godox SK300. Uh, again, the Studio uh, GTX Studio is a, uh, uh, a strobe with a built-in battery and my SK300 will be powered by my homemade battery pack um, that's sitting on the ground. Of course, the SK300 is 300 watts and the GTX Studio TTL480 is supposed to be 400 watts, which I am seriously doubting. Uh, you can check out my previous video uh, on that. Uh, kind of a long video, but in the end, I did not see that power output happening. Uh, have my little subject set up there. Um, I will be using two cameras, uh, two identical D500s with the identical same uh, lens on them, both uh, the Sigma 17 to 50 2.8. I will be shooting them at 50 millimeters uh, all the way out as I switch back and forth. Also, uh, we'll be starting out at uh, 250th of a second, F5, 100 on both camera bodies to keep it all fair. So we're going to see kind of what happens here. And I'll, we'll just put up, put the back of the camera up to the lens, to my camcorder here, to kind of show you the difference, uh, seeing the histogram. And I uh, try to hold both cameras in the same position. Uh, at the time. There's not a cloud in the sky, so we won't have any uh, differentials too much going on there atmospherically because there's not a cloud in the sky. We've got a perfectly blue sky. So here we go. We'll be starting out. Uh, both flashes will be during this entire thing. Uh, both mono lights will be set at one to one at uh, full power. So, uh, and what I would do, I would just continually move my subject in towards the cameras uh, as I test their difference here. So hopefully this isn't, isn't a long video. First, I'll be shooting with, uh, this is the transmitter for the uh, GTX Studio uh, flash. So we'll be starting with that one first. So I'm gonna take one shot here. Heard it go off. Let me see here. Oh, we don't want to do that. Sorry. Give me just a second here. There we go. Bring that up to the lens. See, she has a little bit of light on her. Um, there's the histogram. You know what? Let me take one shot with, and this is in manual mode, okay? I'm going to take one shot with no light so you can see what that looks like. Sorry, apologize. We start right there. So that's no light. That's with the flash going off at 100%. So we got a little light there. Okay, switching over to the Godox. And we'll take one shot. Uh oh, forgot I had to turn. Need to switch it back to manual. There we go. We're back to manual now. Here we go. One shot. There's the Godox. We can easily see that that is brighter. She has more light on her face than the. Uh, the studio, the GTX studio light. So uh, I'm just going to move her in. We're probably now, let me see, five. 10, about 10 feet away. 
We go with the GTX Studios. Let me make an adjustment so it's pointing directly at her face on both of these because I moved her in. GTX Studio. Here we go. Oh, nothing happened. I got everything back on. Oh, I forgot to turn it off. I don't know how I turned that off, but here we go. Okay, there's full power. Manual. Now we switch over to the Godox. Here we go. Full power. Turn off the army. Definitely a lot more light there on her face. That's full power manual. I'm going to switch both of these speed lights do, I mean, not speed lights, I'm sorry, studio lights do TTL. So I'm going to switch over to TTL. This is on the Godox on TTL. So I'm just going to take it and there's no compensation. Or maybe I'm confused. The Godox doesn't have TTL? I thought it did. I apologize for that. I have to look that up. I've never used it in TTL, so... Let's try the... Um, the GTX in TTL. There we go. GTL. And wow, there's uh, pretty much hardly anything there to see. It's pretty dark in detail. Now here's my confusion. You see there, I have it in group B TTL. I'm going to go over to FP mode. So y'all tell me what I'm doing wrong here. That's manual. I'm going to take a shot real quick. That's what we get in manual at full power. Now I'm going to go to FP mode. And I'm going to set it back to its nominal setting here. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, show you. I'm in FP mode. 20,000, take a shot. And we have some light. I'm a little surprised. That's FP mode. I'm going to take two shots. I'm going to take this one in FP mode. And then I'm going to take another one. I'm going to switch it over to manual, which is one to one, full power, and see what the difference is. Let you see that. That's full power manual.
and that's FP. Manual FP. Get back there. FP manual. Do that one more time, guys, so you can see it. I don't want to get confused. We're in manual. Again, manual. I'm going to switch it over to FP. Take another shot. So that's FP manual one to one. FP. I'm going to stay in FP, which in my mind that's high speed sync. I'm going to move her back. Make sure to aim my strobes directly at her again. I'm back to the, I'm still on the GTX. This is FP. Take a shot. Now I'm gonna switch over to manual. Take a shot. Manual full power. And both of those look practically the same to me. Well, we'll see here. That's manual full power. That's FP. Manual full pro yeah, they're 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 the same. <laughs> the only other thing here we have is in FP mode. I'll show you this on the screen. You have it at twenty thousandth of a second. Hopefully you guys can see that. I can change that and I'm gonna go the other direction. Oh, damn. I'm going to go down to like 2,000. And we're going to see if that's going to make a difference. And I don't think it, it doesn't do anything. I, I, which one am I on? He may show my, that's it right there. In the previous two. So that doesn't make a difference. Um, again, I'm a little confused and uh, really a little disappointed in the high speed sync if there is high speed sync. Um, this flash is also the, the same as the, um, the uh, Cowboy Studio what is it called uh, photo whatever it's called the U6 they came out with a U6 which is a 600 watt and I'm, I didn't I gotta look to see if there's a U4 but guys that's what we're getting here I uh, just want to show you the difference in those two um, again uh, if there's something I'm missing on the high speed sync side of things I, I don't know what that is but that's what I'm getting. So any suggestions or, or ideas, please let me know. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.